Hi guys, kumusta kayo dyan? I hope nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan. Uh, today, I'm going to share with you how to save money. Really to save money. <laughs> Papano namin? Uh, Papano kami nag-ipon? How did we save money para gamitin namin as a show money nung nag-apply kami ng... Uh, nung nag-process kami ng application papunta dito sa Canada. So, ano-ano ba talagang ginagawa namin? Una, of course, you have to work. You have to have sources of income. So, uh, way back 20, 2001, I was able to find a job in, in a government in the Philippines. And so, um, and my husband at that time was working but his work is not enough so we just decided to have our own taxi so he was driving so yung sahod ko guys with all our yung mga ginagawa namin na pag-iipon yung income ko hindi siya makuhaan um, I remember every time we have bonus or may sahod ako hindi makuhaan talaga guys kasi yung kita lang ng business namin yun lang yung yun lang yung kuha namin ng daily expenses so my husband had a taxi at that time and um, I also had a three story house tapos yung baba pinarent ko hindi naman kamahalan guys mga f I think 4,000 lang but that was enough for our daily expenses and also the monthly bills like for example utilities water and electricity yung 4,000 na rent doon sa, sa first floor ng bahay namin yun yung kinuhaan namin ng panggastos ng utility bill so in short, yung mga sahod ko sa office, sa pinagtrabuhan ko ng, sa office e eh, walang nakuha, so yun yung pinag-iipon namin okay, so first tip you should have worked, but before you can work, you should have studied you know, when, when you were young boys and girls, please study hard. Because yan lang ang paraan na makahanap kayo ng magandang trabaho when you grow, when you are, you when you finish college. So, dapat kailangan yung pagigihan, guys. Kung hindi kaya, kakayanin. So, kung hindi maintindihan yung lesson, babalik-balikan hanggang maintindihan mo. Parang ma-internalize nyo na yung lesson. So, yun talaga, first you study study hard and then after study you can work and at the same time have your own business if you can maraming mga business dyan sa, lalo na sa philippines there's so many ways where you can have business um we will have to have another video about it but first you study hard and then you work so when i was studying in college um, I studied hard, like, no matter what. Um, kahit medyo mahirap ang buhay, but I really studied hard. I was sickly when I was in college. Minsan, may sakit ako, magpunta ako sa school. Umiiyak ako, but hindi talaga ako mag-absent. Tsaka, diligent akong mag-aaral, guys. Kasi, alam ko, ito lang ang paraan na makaahon ako sa hirap. So, yung, yung, uh, Okay, so um, so going back to college days, when I was, I think, third year or fourth year, or even, I think, third year, um, I already started business, doing business. So I was studying at the same time uh, doing business. And also, I remember I, I, I had a scholarship also when I was in college. So hindi masyadong nahihirapan yung parents ko. But even even with a scholarship i still need to to um have my my business hindi yung business na malaki yung mga yung mga multi level marketing yung mga ganyan ganyan lang like hindi naman avon pero parang same concept sa avon na yung mga ganun na yung mga racket racket ng mga uh mga ganyan but hindi ko talaga pinabayaan yung pag-aaral ko i made sure na it's either 
manya cum laude or cum laude. Yun lang. Kasi, naisip ko kung mag cum laude or manya cum laude ako, meron na akong automatic na civil service eligibility. So, kung may civil service eligibility, guys, right after your graduation, pwede ka nang makapag-work sa government. Kaya, yun, yun talaga yung isip ko na, I have to get that. So, I have that target. Na, despite of being busy, despite of having business or having extracurricular activities sa school, kasi, active din ako sa extracurricular activities sa school, kasi gusto ko rin na may additional uh, something sa resume ko. So, gusto ko na may, like, awards aside from being like has an academic um, awards sa graduation ko gusto ko rin na may other uh, other um, awards so kaya nag active ako sa extracurricular activities at the same time nag aaral ako ng maigi at saka at the same time my business so yun na yung mga pinagagawa ko sa college guys um, so yun you have to study hard when you were young as young as high school or elementary high school college you should study hard guys because the moment you started your college your first year forever na yon even sa high school makikita na yung grades mo doon sa halimbawa mag-apply ka ng work lalo na sa Philippines or even dito sa Canada kailangan nila ng grades new guys Makikita naman doon kung diligent ka ba mag-aaral, kung, you know, kasi usually kung consistent yung grades na mataas. So, ang employer nasa isip nila na, ah, ano ito na batang to? Um, masipag, di ba? Masipag mag-aaral, masipag magpunta sa school. Kaya maganda yung mga grades. So, yun ang nasa isip ng employer. Kaya you have the edge. May edge ka na guys kung mag-apply ka ng trabaho na maganda yung grades mo. Lalo na pag sinabi guys na you have, uh, you graduated whatever, magna cum laude or cum laude, even cum laude. That's really a huge, that has a huge impact in your application. So, when the employer read your application letter and you said, oh, I am a graduate of blah, 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 and I have, uh, I graduated cum laude or something like that. I have, um, I have awards. So, talagang may, oh, this person or this um, applicant is really good. So, may edge ka na doon, ba? Lalo na ngayon, napaka-competitive yung mga nag apply So, kailangan talaga na merong kang edge from the rest of the applicants. So, first, again, study hard. And then, second, work. So, when you work, you work hard hindi yung half-half lang. Dapat buong-buo yung uh, ibigay mo sa work mo. Yung um, yung effort, yung mind, heart mo, ilagay mo talaga sa iseryoso mo yung trabaho mo. Hindi yung pabanjing-banjing lang. Okay? So, study hard, work hard, and then, so kung meron ka ng work, ito na. Really is the real tip is to write your expenses. Write your income and write your expenses. Ito talaga, ito talaga yung ginagawa ko guys. Simula, nag-asawa na ako. Yung, yung college, hindi pa masyado kasi wala pa namang stable na income. Nung nag-asawa na ako guys, yan talaga yung pinaka number one na tip na para makasave ka guys. You have to write your income and you write your expenses. So, bakit? Bakit pa kailangan isulat yung income and expenses? Kasi, kung isulat mo, guys, parang meron ka ng budgeting na sabi mo, okay, ito lang ang, ito ang average na expenses ng grocery ko. So, yun talaga, guys. Titingnan mo yan. Kasi, ang tendency kong, kung hindi mo isulat, guys, baka magdoble or magtriple. At least, meron kang, kumbaga, range. May minimum, may maximum. So, ito lang ang range ng expenses na, na, na spend ko na, na ito lang ang range of money na spend ko for the month so halimbawa grocery ito um, and then this is the phone bills like gasoline bill bills or whatever expenses that you have right so you have to write all your income and expenses para you have a guide na hindi ka lumampas doon so yeah ano na yon you 
work hard, study hard, work hard, and then write your income and your expenses para hindi ka mag-over kung ano lang talaga yung nakabudget sa'yo. Bakit pa kailangan isulat? Kasi para hindi ka lumampas. Para, okay, here's your income, here's your expenses, kailangan ito yung savings mo. Kasi ang tendency guys, kung hindi mo isulat, mawala yung savings. Um, so, income, less savings, equals expenses. Parang ganun. So, it, nakabudget na talaga na kung magkano lang yung income, ito lang ang expense mo. Sorry. Magkano yung income, ito lang yung expense mo, tsaka, yun yung savings dapat. And then, the next that we did is to live within your means. So, ano ba yung live within your means? Um, kung sa Tagalog pa, hindi kailangan mong mamuhay kung saan mo kaya. Live a simple life. Hindi yung kahit nagkandahirap yung cellphone ang mamahal, yung, yung mga damit ang mamahal, yun lang simple living, as long as makakain ka ng healthy, healthy food, like vegetable, fruit, marami dyan. I remember when we were in Cebu, every weekend talaga guys, magpunta kami sa carbon market. Doon kami mamili ng fresh vegetables and fresh fruits. Kasi if you're going to buy those fresh fruits and vegetables in supermarkets, they are very expensive. So, we usually go every weekend, I remember, um, 5 or 6 o'clock, no, 5 o'clock in the morning, dawn. Punta kami talaga sa, sa carbon market para doon kami mamili for the whole week of supplies. So, yeah. So, live a simple life. Um, live within your means. Be practical, guys. Kung may option na makamura, alimbawa, pipiliin mo ang damit na branded versus damit na hindi branded, pero pare-pareho naman yung nagugustuhan mo, comfortable naman isuot. So, doon ka na lang sa hindi mamahalin, di ba? Pero kung may sobra naman sa budget mo, okay lang yun. But, um, yeah, be, be practical. Kung meron ka ng maraming damit or maraming bags, maraming shoes, bakit mo pa kailangang bumili kung hindi pa kailangan, di ba? Pero again, kung may sobra naman sa budget mo, okay lang yun. Sometimes you treat yourself. Okay, and then the next would be to plant vegetables. Especially sa Philippines, plant vegetables and fruits in your backyard. Oh, that's, um, kasi halimbawa, yung kahit maliit lang yung space like uh, malunggay or papaya, yung mga ganun, yung madali lang makuha sa gilid-gilid ng bahay, di ba? So, that would help. So, in short, guys, huwag niyong sayangin yung oras. If you have extra time, you use your time to, to, to in a way na hindi ka makaspend, di ba? Um, huwag sayangin yung oras, guys. I remember when I was in college or high school, I always, uh, during weekends, when I go back to like we were in Tagbilaran, we're studying in Tagbilaran, and every weekends we go back to our um, hometown. I I sell salt, I sell vegetables, I sell whatever I can sell to help my mom and my mama and papa. Para lang magkapera kami, nagbebenta kami ng ice candy, ice water sa sa market para lang maka help sa I mean tuition fee. So, another tip is avoid vices. So, iwasan nyo guys yung mga bisyo, halimbawa, inom ng alak or smoking. Malaking makuha sa expenses nyo guys pag may mga bisyo kayo. ba? Diba? So, please, please, don't smoke. Aside from that is bad sa health ninyo, don't drink hard liquor. Kasi pinaghirapan nyo yung perang hanapin tapos you're just wasted, di ba? And then, another tip is walk instead of ride. Mm, sa Philippines, yes. In, kung malapit lang, I remember, I remember I was, uh, my uh, 
college days I was working my um sorry my school is about one kilometer away from my boarding house I walk because I know that itong one peso na pang bayad sa tricycle ko iipon ko to para sa panggastos namin kasi apat kami na nag-aaral sa sa syudad um, so I have to you know walk instead of um, ride a tricycle para masave ko yung 1 peso. And then, the next tip is invest in a secured investment. Halimbawa, may pera ka na. You have to save it or invest or deposit it in time deposit na secured like PDIC. Uh, yun nangyari na yun sa, akin, sa amin dati. We invested into a bank. Pero alam ko na the PDIC, Philippine Deposit Insurance Corporation, we there was a limit of 250,000 insured at that time. So, ang ginawa namin, hinihiwalay-hiwalay. So, pangalan ko, pangalan ng asawa ko, pangalan ng anak ko, combine namin, ganyan, ginawa namin para hindi siya mag-exceed sa limit ng PDIC. So, when the bank closed, ano siya? Na, ano siya? Na coverage siya sa PDIC. So, nabayaran kami. So, ngayon, lately, marami ng mga marami ng mga investment na mga scam. So, be careful on those. Huwag kayong magpaloko, guys. So, you have to invest your money in a secured invest investment. Okay. So, ano-ano pa ba, guys? Um, I think yun lang yung nasulat ko. <laughs> so, dapat una, study hard. Second, work hard. And then live within your means. And then uh, next is be practical. If there are options na mas makamura, dun ka sa makamura. And then you plant vegetables, you know. Don't waste your time. Because every step of the way, every day, that is uh, that forms part of the success of your future. So, wag niyong sayangin yung oras. Pag may extra time kayo, magtanim kayo ng vegetables. Uh, wag kayo and uh, wag sayangin yung oras and the next is to avoid vo vices smoking drinking barkada something like that so avoid those or yeah minsan it's good to socialize pero sometimes not always <laughs> and then walk instead of ride so Kung pwede naman malakad, hindi naman mabigat yung mga dala nyo. Exercise. Makaiwas din yan sa mga sakit, ba <laughs> And then, la the last but not the least is invest your savings into a secured investment. Uh, okay guys, if you want to add something, please feel free to comment. And also, I hope that you learned something uh, out of my sharing today. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share to your friends. Thank you for watching, guys. God bless.